for a long time I thought I would love to be able to find a string to put on a lot of the childhood experiences that I remembered. A lot of them were funny and some of them were kind of sad and the people that I'd known and some of the guys that I hung out with that really weren't headed anywhere except down blind alleys. And uh, nothing came and nothing came. And what you do when nothing comes is you don't push, you just put it aside. And there came a day when I thought to myself, if these guys go somewhere, if there's a reason for them to go somewhere and do something, what could it be? And I came up with the idea of them going down the train tracks to look for uh, the body of a kid. And they ran off camera and they went, Rob, see, we did it, we did it, we were crying, we were crying. And they were so excited, and they jumped on top of me, and they were so happy. At a moment, I felt a little bit, oh, should I have pushed them? But I knew it was okay. I knew it would be okay because they trusted me, and they felt comfortable enough with me to, to be able to, to do that. And then they were great, and they were so happy for it. Everybody felt safe and secure because it was a man-made pool. We're not walking out into the middle of the forest and just dumping into some awful you know, swamp that's been there for 50 years. We tried a lot of different people and we just couldn't get the right tone. And finally, when Rick Dreyfus came in, uh, it was perfect. And that's what I taught these kids, how to play theater games, how to relate to each other, how to throw the ball back and forth verbally, physically, to get them to do all of this. And then we started working with characters and understanding character. At the time, you don't even think about it. You think it's like, hey, you know, we're, 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 we're playing games with a, with a bunch of kids. And, uh, and Rob's like this big kid, and he's hanging out with us. And Andy Scheinman is playing video games with us. But when I look back across the years, I can see that he was probably taking this time to get us comfortable with each other so that we would feel like we had really known each other, so that we would have some kind of bonds together. He went off and he thought, and he says, okay, I'm ready to do it. And he did the scene, and as you see, it's beautiful. He breaks down and he cries. And um, again, it was one of those times where I think he felt uncomfortable enough with me to really expose himself at that point in the film. And then after the scene was over, I went and I hugged him and I told him I loved him and he gave me a big hug and he felt better. But it took him a while to get over it. Obviously, there was something that was very uh, hurtful to him in his life that he, um, that he connected with in order to make that scene work. I found my own way into it through my own personal uh, experience and said, Gordy has to be the main character. It's all about a uh, little boy who doesn't feel good about himself, who's looking for approval, can't get it from his father, and looks to his friends to be bolstered and find that approval and feel good about himself. And once I hit upon that, I said, okay, I can tell this story. Because those are feelings I had felt as a young kid growing up and trying to, um, you know, make my way in the world. There are certain rites of passage that all boys go through with their friends. The first time that we went away from home, the first time that we really had to face something frightening by ourselves, the first time that you face death, the first time that you face disillusion about your parents, the first time that you have to face a situation where you know uh, if you don't back off a step, you're going to be hurt. These are all things that boys go through and they're part of what makes boys Man, I was experiencing that coming of age even at the time that I was making the film, which was well into my 30s, because I got strength from my friends even as I got older, uh, and I was always looking for approval from my father and always felt that I wasn't really seen by him, and so uh, I gained a lot of strength from my friends. I've known Rob since I was 15. He was a little older, like some months. You know, when you're 15, that counts. He was 15 and a half. You know what I mean? And um, we did. We spent, uh, we spent a great deal of time together. We saw every movie ever released together. I uh, remember Rob screaming at him, like really upsetting me. And like that, you know, and when you're a kid and you start to like shake and maybe cry a little bit, maybe it all sort of comes out. When you're casting 12-year-old boys and 13-year-old boys, you really have to cast close to their personalities. I mean, you can't ask kids of that age uh, to go very far away from who they are in terms of their characters. Uh, they don't have the craft yet. They're not developed yet. Uh, so I try to find kids who did have the qualities of those characters. Uh, with Gordy and, and getting Will Wheaton, he had a very doe-like face, very sensitive. So, um, I, you know, I practiced the script with my mom, and I was very excited about practicing it with my mom because... Uh, because there was cursing in it, you know, so I'm there cursing with my mom, and I'm like, Mom, I'm allowed to say the S and F word because it says it in the script. 
And um, that was like very exciting for me. And uh, 